Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here today. Today's video is going to be a affordable fall style lookbook. In this video, I am styling a bunch of the different affordable fashions that I have. I just thought I would do another remix of all of the things that I have been loving from my affordable retail places like Walmart, H&M, Target. I think I even have something from JCPenney and maybe one or two thrifted things and Amazon, of course. One thing to note though that I want to throw out there is not everything is 100% affordable. I don't have a whole bunch of shoes and bags that are in the affordable category. However, I will be amending that. I am looking around to see what is out there and what I can bring to the channel. But I tried my best to have everything under $50. Even some of the outfits come out to under $50. If you are interested in seeing how I styled all of my affordable fashion, then stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting out with this pair of ivory pants that I got from Walmart. They didn't make it in time for my Walmart haul, so I am featuring them here. These are amazing, guys. They are in a large whale corduroy, and they are pull-on pants, and they feel like corduroy sweats. They are the perfect length for me. If you are five feet to five foot three, I think these are gonna be a great length for you. Otherwise, they're gonna be cropped. I have paired it with my ivory satin shirt from H&M and my beige obi belt that I got from Amazon. And for shoes, I am wearing the black cap toe kitten heel mules that I got from The Drop. Now I have added the black v-neck cable knit vest that I got from Amazon to the look and I love 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 how polished this look is. I think that it is really great for the office and these pants I'm telling you feel like sweats. So really comfortable and amazing outfit. I am so surprised at how comfortable these pants are and how incredible they are. I am going to order probably all of the colors. Next, I am pairing it with a cable knit V-neck sweater from St. John's Bay. So this is a JCPenney brand. I think right now these sweaters are, are selling for around $15 to $20. And the only thing that is not under $50 in this outfit are the mules that I am wearing, the loafer mules. The bag even is a, it is a faux leather bag. It is $35. So everything except for the shoes under $50 incredibly affordable and i love how this looks it's a great neutral uniform and you could definitely layer a shirt underneath this sweater if you need to uh, warm it up a little bit more one of my favorite neutrals combinations of the winter is ivory and black and so i am wearing my black sleeveless ribbed knit sweater from H&M. The look is really nice. So for those of you ladies who are in a warm climate, these corduroy pants are really nice and thin. So they will suffice in a warm climate. And then you can wear a sleeveless sweater so that you could layer a blazer or something on over this and not be too warm because you've gone sleeveless. Love, love, love this outfit. It is so incredibly comfortable. I cannot say that enough. I felt great in this outfit and just love it. Then for the next look, I am pairing the red peplum top from Sophia jeans that I got from Walmart and showing you here just how comfortable these pants are. I love this. This is another great work look. It's really casual and yet pulled together. And of course the red and the ivory work really nicely together, especially because the ivory of the pants is very close to the ivory in the floral print of this top. I just cannot get enough of these pants. They became an instant favorite the minute I put them on, especially because they are the perfect, perfect length. Last way that I'm styling these pants is with that um, burnt orange polo sweater that I got from Walmart. This sweater, I did not realize it was $20. I am floored because it does not look or feel like a $20 sweater. 
fantastic, fantastic from Eloquy Elements. These pants are gonna be incorporated into my capsule because I can't not wear them. These are gonna be regulars in my capsule wardrobe rotation. Okay, so moving on to my faux leather pants that I got from Target and I am styling it with the puff sleeve sweater that was also purchased from Target. The shoes I've had for a while, uh, they were from Banana Republic so they don't count for this video, but I really, really like how the outfit came together. It is edgy and yet casual at the same time. I like mixing this blue sweater with black. I think it really looks really nice. So this is one of the ways that I have styled these leather pants. The next way that I've styled them, same top, but I have added these Chelsea boots that I got from Target. I bought these boots last year and just never wore them. And I think that they look fantastic with these faux leather pants. I know that you guys, especially those of you in rainy climates have been asking about different shoe options or different outfit options. So this is, I think, a great outfit for uh, rainy weather because you've got faux leather pants and you've got, you know, um, a pair of faux leather boots on and that's really going to protect you and keep you warm in the cooler, damp weather. And then this sweater is pretty thick and so it will also keep you really nice and warm. I actually wore it the other day and didn't have to wear a coat with it because it was nice and comfortable and keeping me very, very warm. So I really love this ensemble. Again, really brought up the edge factor with the black boot. All right, so for this outfit, I have put on that ribbed knit sleeveless top and this fantastic gray blazer that I got from H&M. I think that this blazer is going to be a workhorse in my wardrobe. And I really, really like this outfit because it's almost like it's corporate edge. Because of the blazer, it pulls everything together really nicely. And then I've got nothing but black underneath. And so it gives this really nice illusion of length and height and is also very slenderizing, even though I am wearing a lighter colored blazer. I really was very happy with the way this outfit looked. It was um, quite nice and uh, really great if you are going back to the office and want to edge things up a little bit. Perfect outfit for you, all very, very affordable. Then I have pulled out the red peplum top from Sophia Jeans and paired it with this pair of leather pants. I've been dying to, to do this little outfit and I really like the way it looks because the floral shirt is a really nice contrast to the edginess of the leather pant and also the boot. So I think again, another really good work outfit um, if you're in a more casual work environment. And then I changed up the shoes to dress it up just a little bit. My black cap toe kitten heel mules really, really enjoyed this outfit. This is going to be a fun one to wear. These leather pants, if they're still available, you should pick them up. And they also have them in an olive green if black is not what you're interested in at the moment. So hopefully, fingers crossed that they're available. So this last look is featuring the shirt dress that uh, came from Eloquy Elements from Walmart. And I am pairing it with the satin ivory shirt that I got from H&M and then wearing my black Obi belt that I got from Amazon and as well as the black cap toe kitten heel mules. The purse is thrifted. So I decided to pull it in just because I felt I needed that pop of brightness to match the ivory of the shirt. Let's talk about the outfit. I love this outfit. I am floored by how much I love this outfit. I think that in the winter is a perfect time to layer your clothes. And I like layering things under dresses, especially when it's such a nice basic, like this ivory satin button down shirt. I just really like how pulled together it looks, but it brings a little bit of something different to the shirt dress. It breaks it up a little bit. And then you've got the OB belt to kind of cinch in the waist. Now this dress does have its own belt. 
I normally don't like wearing the belts that come with dresses, but I do have it. So it, you could also definitely use that belt instead of an OB belt, but I just really dig my OB belts. And this whole outfit is like corporate dream. <laughs> I think that this would be great in an office and the dress is like $20. I can't believe that Eloquy Elements is priced so well and it's made really, really well and it fits well. And uh, yeah, I absolutely adore this outfit. I love taking clothes and figuring out how many different ways they can be styled, they can be layered, and how to play with them. I just had so much fun making this video. If you are new to my channel and you're unfamiliar with my content, my name is Aralia and the content that I post here is all around style and fashion for the plus size woman. I am a firm believer that life is way too short to live without style. I post three times a week on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, so if my content resonates with you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss anything here on my channel. If you are a returning friend, welcome back. I'm very very, very excited to see you. If you enjoy capsule wardrobing, then make sure to check out my fall capsule wardrobe for 2021. I am styling these garments and more. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you as always for spending a few minutes of your day with me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to live your life filled with confidence, grace, and style. I will see you in my next upload. Bye.